The Christmas shopping season is in full swing, and so are cyber criminals looking to take advantage of Christmas shoppers. And the scammers have all sorts of digital tools at their disposal to take your money. Jamie Tucker takes a closer look at some of the scams you should watch out for. Online shopping isn't the problem. You can window shop without leaving the house, compare prices, research products. The risky part of shopping online are the transactions. There are good ways to pay for things and bad ways to pay for things. First, do not use a debit card for anything online. I'd even recommend not using a debit card at all, and that goes for shopping in stores. They have no fraud protection, and they're a direct link to your bank account, and money is almost immediately taken from it. Debit cards also susceptible to theft. Watch just how quickly a bad guy can install a card skimmer in this convenience store. He's wearing the white shirt. In two seconds, while the clerk turns his back, the bad guy places a skimmer on the card scanner to steal numbers and pin codes. Card skimmers have also been discovered on gas pumps and ATMs. They're virtually unrecognizable. Be careful using the Zelle app. This is a cash sharing app backed by hundreds of banks and it's very similar to debit cards. Bad guys are using this app as it's a direct link to your bank account. Transactions take just a minute or so, and if you authorize a Zelle transaction, the bank cannot get your money back. Zelle's website even urges customers to only use this app to pay someone you know personally. And remember, these cyber criminals are not just targeting older consumers, but we've seen in report after report that younger shoppers, people in their 20s and 30s, are even more susceptible to falling for these scams than their parents and grandparents, so make sure they're aware of all of these scams. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. If you lose money in an online scam, report it immediately to your local police department and then the Better Business Bureau.